In his 29 years of coaching football, legendary Jay Sircosta just might have his toughest challenge ever this season in keeping a winner in Woodsfield at Monroe Central High School. Gone are two 1,000-yard rushers and a 1,000-yard passer from last year's 11-1 team. The task to rebuild a winner isn't expected to be easy, but it's coming along rather nicely. Oh, we are very green, Mike. In fact, out of the 43 players that we do have on this year's squad, 23 of them are first-year players. So things are moving quite slow at the beginning, but I do see progress taking place, and that's where we're looking to try to get better and better each week. 220-pound senior fullback Will Weddle steps in to carry the load offensively. He's been Rose Central's toughest kid and will also play middle linebacker, where he made 86 tackles last year, third on the Seminoles. Newcomer Josh Jones will be the tailback. He's just a sophomore, but expected to contribute right away. He'll also join Weddle at linebacker. Jason Ludwig was supposed to be Monroe Central's quarterback this season, but surgery ended his year. So enter junior Eric Kramer, who was the Seminoles' number one tailback coming into camp. Now he's Monroe Central's quarterback. I feel pretty comfortable. I feel like I can do it. Um, so far, no letdowns. I hope not. No injuries or anything like that. So I feel all right. Is it easier coming from tailback to quarterback? Uh, I can't really tell. Uh, they're both pretty easy if you know what you're doing. You've been around for a few years. I mean, you know all the plays and everything, so. Set! Drive it! Drive it! Drive it! Come on, Tucker! Jump! Jump! Just four starters return on offense, and three are on the line. Senior guard Jamie Boer, center Denny Knowlton, guard and defensive tackle Chris Dimmerling, and the biggest of them all is senior two-way tackle Sam Hannis at 255. Up front should be our strength, we hope, anyway, because we do have some interior linemen coming back, both offensively and defensively. We have some nice size. We're just hoping that they can kind of carry the load for us on both sides of the ball early. The receivers are all underclassmen. Junior Justin Friday has good hands, and freshman Jesse Nippert will be asked to grow up in a hurry. And yes, there's another shoemaker at Monroe Central, sophomore John, who is six foot 200 pounds. He'll play tight end and defensive end. He's the last in the line of five shoemaker boys to play at Monroe Central and Woodsfield High Schools. On defense, just five starters return. So Sir Costa and his staff will shuffle players until they find the best combinations. A lot of tradition here over the years. You know, uh, these seniors that we lost last year had a great run and lost uh, three regular season games in four years. And everybody's used to winning, and uh, that's something we look forward to. But everybody's going to have to be patient this year. The key, again, is going to be to stay healthy. Even though we have a little more numbers, our key personnel are going to have to stay healthy, and we're going to have to get better each week. Newly scheduled Magnolia comes calling August 30th to Seminole Land. In Woodsfield, Mike Anthony, News Channel 7 Sports.